Hey everybody, it's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. Welcome to my uh, video today. Uh, thank you all of you who are following this channel, becoming subscribers of course, thumbs ups, sending me messages and also joining my Facebook group page. Uh, we're over 60,000, almost 400, just they keep coming in. It's awesome. This is a uh, an image, a satellite image of uh, Palermo in Italy. A lot of you folks ask me where these photos uh you know, where are these locations? This is Palermo, Italy, and um, we've had a, a development. Uh, there has been an outbreak, COVID-19, on a cruise ship in Europe. There's been so much talk that everything is going great in Europe and America should open up sailings right now. Let's join the Europeans. Well, the Costa uh, Dia Dima uh, cruise ship uh, they had an outbreak. Seven cases of the virus have been discovered in passengers. And um, this is causing an issue, a big issue. Uh, the ship was in uh, Naples. It had been uh, doing a number of stops, and uh, Palermo was one of them. And um, departing passengers uh, tested positive, and now they're doing tracing, and they're checking the crews, and oh my gosh, everything. Um, I'm not sure how many people were on board this ship um, when these seven folks uh, ended up with the virus. My guess, though, is uh, they were probably uh, uh, allowing between 50 and 70 percent occupancy. So this kind of ship here, close to 3,500 people occupancy, uh, there could have been 2,000, 2,500 people on board and seven are definitely proving positive. And so this ship, uh, uh, having left uh, this place here, which is Naples, that's Mount Vesuvius looking at, they uh, they left uh, these areas and now checking with, uh, with authorities uh, throughout Italy to see possibly um, have these folks been in touch with other people. I, I can't imagine they hadn't. And we're going to have to wait and see how many more people uh, turn up positive. But this is one of these... You know, darned if you do and darned if you don't. Should we go on cruises right now during a pandemic or should we not? Should we wait for a vaccine? Because despite all the safety protocols they put into place, even on this cruise, it, it didn't stop the virus from, you know, rearing its ugly head. By the way, one more time, thank you all of you who are subscribing to my channel, giving my videos thumbs ups, joining me on my Facebook group page. Also, those of you who are popping into the red bubble store link is down below here picking up covid masks or coffee mugs t-shirts all kinds of stuff really appreciate that and then those of you out there who are becoming sponsor members of this channel thank you for that because every monday seven o'clock eastern time i do a live show just for sponsor members you get four of those a week uh, sorry i guess a month and uh, i do special videos for my members and also uh, you get to use special emojis thanks for your support um Italy has been working hard to try to uh, limit this virus. So has Span France, Spain, Germany, all the countries in Europe. They've, they've brought out every you know, trick in the book to try to nip the virus in the bud, to try to uh, attempt to find ways to, to prevent spreading of the disease, which means literally spraying down public areas uh, you know, that the Italians know we want to see. I mean, who doesn't want to come here to Leaning Tower of Pisa? Millions of people a year do so here in France uh, on the Champs-Élysées. You're walking by the uh, Arc de Triomphe and the Eiffel Tower, and uh, you know France has has basically gone on a lockdown in the evening. I think after seven o'clock at night, everything is shut down. People in the streets have to wear masks. They're trying every precaution to try to limit the uh, the disease. The ship, by the way, the uh, Costa. Uh, Diadema had been chartered out to a French tour company and the uh, the passengers on board the ship I believe were from France I can't be 100% uh, sure on that but it sounds like what had happened was the Costa people were approached by a tour company in France they wanted to put a cruise together they took the entire ship over and then put together this, uh, this uh, cruise and it was uh, this cruise that these uh, these passengers have tested positive from again that's another shot here i believe of naples and um, the ship now is on its way here it's on its way now to genoa in italy they've canceled all uh, sailings going forward again so uh, if this tour company was hoping to go on a back-to-back -back arrangement that's been canned the ship is now back to or heading back here to genoa in italy 
and uh, they will probably do a thorough uh, disinfecting again. Uh, I'm pretty sure the Italian authorities will be all over the crew to make sure they're all okay. They'll make sure that they're, they're uh, quarantined. Um, there might be literally a two-week quarantine going on here. And again, this brings it back to America, folks. Um, despite all the, uh, the uh, you know, cautionary ways and all of the health protocols, masking, testing, uh, keeping passengers away from other people, uh, making sure the shore excursions are like uh, done like in a bubble. It didn't work. Um, it didn't work in this case. Um, I don't know if there are other cases of the virus that have popped up now a few weeks after other cruises have taken place on other cruise lines. We know that MSC did a bunch of cruises in the Mediterranean. We know AIDA, which is the German uh, uh, focus line, they want to do cruises. But the numbers in Italy, France, the UK, um, Spain, they are exploding right now. And I don't know how they can uh, separate uh, virus outbreaks between the general public and now cruise ship passengers because it just takes one person with, with the virus who doesn't know they have it, they're not showing any symptoms, uh, to you know get in a confined space like a cruise ship. And after three or four days... You've, you've had an exposure to that individual or vice versa. That individual has, exposed, has been exposed to thousands of other passengers and crew um, and on th- off the ship and on the ship, and, uh, you know, here we go. Uh, so I don't know, folks. So scenes like this out of Naples, uh, we may not be able to come here for quite some time, whether we just want to fly here for a vacation, take a cruise, because this virus is uh, so sneaky uh, and so undetectable, um, if we all knew, you know, if we started sneezing three minutes after we got the virus, we'd all know we have it, but th- it doesn't work that way. There are people who go weeks and weeks with the virus in their systems. They don't feel a thing. They feel completely normal. They feel completely fine. Everything is great, and uh, they don't know. They're spreading the virus to hundreds of people by the time it rears its head, and that's assuming that people will get tested. Um, you know, these folks on the passenger ship, they happen to be tested because they were on the ship. That's how they detected it. It's quite possible these seven folks could have gotten off the ship, gone home, and never had, ex- uh, had any of the virus symptoms, and then the virus uh, goes away and they're fine. And they, mean, in the meantime, could have affected thousands of other people. This is the problem with this virus. We don't know how deadly it is and how sneaky it is, but Anyway, today, seven cases from a cruise in the Mediterranean. Thank you for joining me with Traveling with Bruce. We will talk to you later, everybody. See you next time.